Okay guys, your Wi-Fi keeps on disconnecting. How do you fix that? Open your Wi-Fi. So it's very simple and easy to open. Just click on this Wi-Fi. Just tap it for a long and you're going to see this Wi-Fi page or you can just open it through setting. So you're going to click on this more. Sorry guys. Don't turn it off. Click on more on the top. And you can see here it is. Keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. Click on that. Sometimes you're gonna see the advanced option or some other option. Check in different uh, different phone has a different arrangement. So check it somewhere uh, over here. You might find something like something more whatever. Just try to check uh, if uh, there is an option. Try to check inside different for uh, option. Somewhere you're gonna find keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. So the your option should be always. If it is uh, never or only one plugged in. You just gonna change it to just change it to always. So the your setting should be always. So and then after you're gonna check it out. Turn your Wi-Fi off and turn it back again, and you're gonna check it out. Whether it's fine or not. Okay, so you're gonna open the setting in your phone and then to so somewhere so different phone has a different arrangement so somewhere you're gonna check for updates in my phone it's a about device and here it is on the top itself software update in some phone in the setting page itself in the on the top you'll find a system update and all of this stuff so somewhere you're gonna find update or you can search manually on the search in setting now click on update now. It will check for updates and install all necessary updates. Sometime updating a system will fix your lots of problem. The last update has already been installed. So if any update is available, just update it. It will definitely fix lots of your problem. So update your phone and check it out. Okay guys, you can see over here it's uh, settings. You have to open the setting page. And somewhere it's gonna say the application. Different phone has a different arrangement. So somewhere you're gonna access a list of application. So, so try to access a list of application. So when you access the list of application, somewhere you're gonna find setting. So here's uh, some application manager. So check somewhere settings. Okay, so, okay here on the so I didn't find settings over here. So somewhere try to access a different folder. Somewhere it might find uh, settings. There are these many folders. So here you can see it's all in the list of all application. Somewhere wants to be settings. It is arranged in alphabetical order. So go to letter S. Yes. Where is yes? Here is the settings. When you click on settings, uh, you can get access to the setting page. Try to clear the case and somewhere you'll find our uh, stories. So you can just uh, clear the case clear the data so read it before you do it because your application data will be permanently deleted this includes all the file settings that you have done database and everything so before you do it you can read it once you have done it I can go back to same application and you are gonna access it So try to access uh, list of applications. Okay, not in the default application. Is the application manager? Again, go to settings. Hit settings, and then. Now you'll just uh, you have already cleared the case and cleared the data. 
now you will force stop it so what you guys gonna do just force stop it click on ok done with the force stop now what you gonna do just restart your device now you are gonna check it out see if this method is working so you are gonna open the settings inside settings somewhere you are gonna find backup and reset you can see here is a backup and reset so different phone has a different arrangement in some phone you will not find a backup and reset in the setting page it might be somewhere inside some different option like additional options and all uh, so or you can just manually search for backup and reset in a search on setting on the top so depending upon your phone arrangement different phone has a different arrangement you can see here is a factory data reset so click on that before you continue you just gonna read it properly because it's gonna wipe out everything from your device your device will be like a newly installed you can just uh, remove your SD cards and all if you have any personal or important information you can move from your device to SD card before doing this because it will wipe out everything that you have in your device your device will be like a newly purchased one and you'll set up your device from the beginning again so sometimes some viruses and malware might cause might be causing issue you do not know you are not being able to find so you're and you can just reconfigure all your settings again you can update your device again so this is uh, for that it's a factory reset wiping out everything and using uh, like a new system again finally here at the bottom I have a reset so click on reset now so it's gonna ask you again whether you want to erase everything click on erase everything and it will erase everything your phone will restart and you just have to set up your phone once again so do this uh, if you really want to do it so I've told you it will wipe out everything from your device so doing this also helps some time so do this and check it out